In this video, we'll look at our end user report designer for ASP.NET MVC. I'll show you how to add it to your application and customize it. I'll start by creating a new ASP.NET MVC application using our template gallery. Give it a name and click OK. Here, select Web Application under the ASP.NET MVC category and click Run Wizard. Select the standard application layout. The MVC Settings page allows you to specify the View Engine and MVC version. Switch to the Suites page, enable the Report Suite, and click Create Project. Our new application is configured to support the whole set of DevExpress ASP.NET MVC extensions. All JavaScript libraries required to run the Report Designer are automatically referenced. Both the third party and DevExtreme options are enabled in the DevExpress Resources section in the application's web.config file. If you need to, you can manually insert this section to the configuration file. Make sure that the Resources Configuration section is registered in this file. Since I selected the Report Suite, the Style Sheet, and Script Extension are automatically registered in the Layout View file. Now let's add a report. Create a new folder named Reports for Storage. Right-click the folder, select Add DevExpress Item, New Item. This opens our template gallery again. Here, select Extra Report Wizard Web, specify the report name, and click Add Item. Here, select Empty Report, and click Finish. After this, we can bind the report to data and construct the required layout. I'll skip these steps for now, but you can learn how to do this by watching this video. Rebuild the application to apply changes. Now let's add the report designer. Open the main view named index and right click any place in the view window. In the context menu, choose Insert DevExpress Extension. Here, select the Reports tab. Choose the Report Designer extension and specify the previously added report as a model class. Then click Insert. This automatically generates an appropriate view code, which calls the Report Designer extension method and passes specific settings to the method as a parameter. Let's run this in a browser to take a look. The Web Report Designer doesn't have the default implementation of saving reports and requires you to explicitly define how reports should be stored on the server side of your web application. To provide a custom server-side storage to web reports, enable the Create Report Storage option when inserting the Report Designer extension. This adds a new class inherited from the abstract Report Storage Web Extension class, implementing several methods that need to be overridden. For example, providing storing logic at the level of the set data and set new data methods. The get data method, in turn, should return the report layout with the specified URL. To register the web report storage, its instance is created and passed to the static register extension global method on the application startup. If I run the app again, you'll see it now provides additional menu commands such as New, New via Wizard, Open, and Save As. Clicking these commands calls appropriate methods of the Report Storage class. Now let's customize the toolbar by adding a new command. To provide a custom command icon, create an image file and add it to the project. Create a CSS file and declare a CSS class specifying the custom icon. Then include the created file in the index view file using the link tag. To customize menu commands at runtime, write the Customize Menu Actions event handler. Add a new custom command to the actions collection of the event argument. To display the created command in the main toolbar, set the container property to toolbar. Assign the CSS file to the image class name property. To specify text for the created command, use the text property. For the click action property, specify the client side action to be performed by the command. I'll specify other required options as well. Then assign the name of the created handler to the client side customize menu actions event. Run the application again to see the button we just created. To provide default data sources, create them at runtime.
and add them to the Data Sources collection of an object storing Report Designer settings. I'll run the application again, and you'll see the registered data sources available in the designer. When an end user adds one of the available data sources, the data source object is cloned and its copy is assigned to the report's data source property. To enable end users to create new data sources, provide the web report designer with a set of predefined data connections. To use connection strings specified in the project's web.config file, register the corresponding connection strings provider on application start. These connections will be displayed for end users in the SQL data source wizard when creating new data sources. You can also implement a custom connection strings provider and strictly define which data connections will be available to end users. To learn how, check out the documentation. By default, the designer uses a light theme. You can change it here in the style sheets registration if you need to. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our reporting suite, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch more videos from our playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.